Welcome back to California Unearthed. I am in Irvine today looking for fast food history. That's right, Southern California was the mecca of the fast food industry back in the 40s, 50s, and even 60s. Today, I'm looking for the original Taco Bell building that used to be up at 7112 Firestone in Downey. So that was moved here to Irvine to the Taco Bell headquarters. So we near, go over here, we'll find the uh, Taco Bell sign. We are at the headquarters of Taco Bell. It is in the back parking lot. So we're gonna go find it. I'm gonna give you guys some information on who the owner and creator of Taco Bell was and a little bit of the history of numero uno, that's what they call it, of the original Taco Bell. So let's go check it out. All right, here it is. This is Numero Uno, the original Taco Bell building from 1962. Like I said, it was once on Firestone Boulevard in Downey. Let's uh, take a little walk around here, check it out, and then uh, give you a little bit of history of Glenn Bell, the creator and owner, and a little bit of history of the building. This is gonna be the back end of it. Like I said, this was moved here on November 19th, 2015, overnight. There's a big campaign to get this move down here. They were going to demolish it, but it was saved because of an uproar in the community to be able to save it. Taco Bell Corporation got involved. 
At one time, this was all wrapped in black plastic. Obviously, that's changed. It's all in white now. This is the front of the building. Unfortunately, we can't uh, go up under there and see that, but you can notice there are the metal um, eye beams that are holding the building up when it was transferred over here. The only thing missing is at the top, there's no bell section on the building. So this is right next to uh, the 5 freeway, so there's going to be a little bit of traffic noise. All right, so let me give you a little bit of history on this. It was started by a man named Glenn Bell. So you hear the name Taco Bell, yes. He named it after himself. You would think the Mission Bell, the whole Spanish, but it was actually his name, which is kind of funny. Uh, the man was born in 1923, passed away in 2010 after battling Parkinson's for 25 years. There's actually a book written on Glenn Bell called Taco Titan that was uh, written in 1999. So he was able to uh, see that, read it, before he uh, passed away in 2010, which I think is pretty cool. So a little bit about Glenn Bell. He is from San Bernardino. He started his first diner, not diner, but drive-in called Bell's Drive-In, where he made hot dogs, hamburgers, but he was also then competing with the McDonald's brothers, who were also in San Bernardino at the time. So he was trying to figure out how he can compete with the McDonald's brothers and have a little bit of a twist. And so that's where he came up with the idea of tacos. Now, Glenn Bell didn't create the Crunchy Taco, but he was a big influencer on it. So back in the 40s, they were making Crunchy Tacos, but this is how they made them. If you've ever been to Jack in the Box and had the Jack in the Box tacos, that's exactly how they were making Crunchy Tacos back in the 40s filling them with the meat, the cheese, and then throwing them in a deep fryer. Glenn Bell created the hard shell that we see today at Taco Bell and at the stores and Del Taco and all that. He created the hard shell and created the mechanism to mass produce those hard shells. So like I said, he did um, Bell's Drive-In, stopped that building, sold that, he then started what they called uh, Taco Tia, which was his first taco shop. Then he did tacos for the first time, I believe in 1952, maybe 1953, somewhere in there. But it wasn't until 1962 when he created his first Taco Bell. And that was on his own. It was a solo venture. All the other ones he was in company with other partners and things like that. But I also found out that Glenn Bell was a big influencer for the guys who started Del Taco, Wiener Schnitzel. There was also one called El Taco. So in uh, 1962, like I said, started this very first Numero Uno Taco Bell. It is 400 square feet, about the size of a two-car garage. It was a walk-up uh Restaurant only, no drive through, no seating, just walk up. And so by 1964, he had his first franchise. A retired LA police officer by the name of Kermit Becky bought the first Taco Bell franchise and put his up in Torrance, California. So that was the second Taco Bell location. But by 1967, there was 100 Taco Bells in the Southern California area. By 1970, he went public with the Taco Bell name and the Taco Bell company. So by 1978, uh, he sold the whole Taco Bell Corporation, which at that point had 868 stores. He sold it to PepsiCo for $125 million. And obviously you guys know PepsiCo, Pepsi products. That's why Taco Bell sells Pepsi products because they're owned by Pepsi and they still are to this day if I believe if I am correct so from that point he then went into retirement 
um, and moved down to Rancho Santa Fe, down in San Diego area, where unfortunately he passed away in 2010. So let's take another look at this and uh, check it out. And there are two fun facts I also learned that are kind of uh, cool. This is the Taco Bell menu. Everything was 19 cents in 1962. And also that the people here in Southern California didn't really know what tacos were. So they didn't know how to pronounce the word taco. They were calling them tacos, which is kind of funny. So uh, I thought that was kind of an interesting fact. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this. Um, I had a lot of fun researching this. I've always wanted to come here and check this out. I know it's under wraps and we can't really see it, but that's why I've added the photographs to the video here so you guys can see what it actually looked like back in 1962 and what it looked like when it was moved. I also have included the uh, footage, a little bit of footage, of the night it was moved. So I hopefully uh, you guys will enjoy that as well. Come back and check out some of my other videos. Thank you for joining me on this adventure, and uh, we'll see you guys on the next one.